KT is a bad matchup for Gen G. Yeah, I just hope to God KT doesn't choke. Just clap this, clap this team. Like KT versus Gen G. Like if KT goes to MSI, that's just it's just better. It just is. It's just, I'm sorry. It's just better. Oh wow, T1 predicted. What is your prediction? I think KT will win 3-1. I really hope. God, I sound like such a Genji hater, actually, you're right. I need to stop sounding like a Genji hater. I'm not a Genji hater. I just I just want to see KT at, at the... Everyone's predicting KT. Why is there a picture of Lehens here? <laughs> it's, mid, it's top mid, mid jungle, and Lil Bro snuck in there. Damn, English castings KT, Korean castings Genji. Basically, I just wonder what the draft will look like because I feel like Gen G is just going to draft super standard champs, and KT are going to try to draft like TF, Viego, all that random shit, Vegar. I think Zeri ban is okay. Yeah, Zeri ban's good. TF ban here on blue side is good against KT. I think. Sounds really weird, but I think it's good. Sejuani. Mm, they should ban Vi now. I think or Zaya. Actually, annoying. No, Zaya or Vi. What do you ban? Cassante. Actually, good ban too. Sante, good Ben. Genji gonna take away Jace from Keen. I'm not sure how I feel about Dora and Jace. Uh, they should take Zaya, Zaya for sure. Vi could be a good one. I don't know if Cuz wants Vi though. Aiming needs to take Zaya here though. Zaya Rakan one too. It's good, yeah. Don't pick Rakan Vi. Please just pick Zaya. Maybe they actually, maybe they don't want to play Zaya into poke. Malphite Ben covers the Jace a little bit. Because they can't pick Malphite and flex it. Oh, they, they are doing Rakanvi. I think the Zaya pick is just better. They're gonna go Aphelios Nautilus. Aphelios Tam. They're playing Tam into Rakan. Ugh, that lane is... And it's not bad, but it's like... TK is really good against Vi, but that's kind of it. I don't know if I like Jace, Tam, Kench. Okay, Genji need to cover Jace, but Jace can still go mid. I think uh, jungle bans obviously for KT are good. Is Lee, Lee Sin isn't good. What is a good ban for them? Lee Sin is useless. Maokai is a fine ban, yeah. T1 played Jace Tam. Yeah, but I don't know if I like Jace Tam versus Zaya Rakan and early rotation, so they can just play range champs here, KT. BDD's Vegar. I think Ari here is just. They should just take Ari for sure. No, they shouldn't take Ari actually. They should take. Uh, what's a good champ here? LeBlanc is not bad, I think. I think LeBlanc is a little bit better. I think LeBlanc was a little bit better. Diego Alessandra, hmm. No shocker there. I think they would do this anyway. Ari LeBlanc, they pick this. What do they pick top here? Gregas? Pick a ch don't pick Scion, please. Pick a Renekton or something, I don't know. I think, uh, I, I prefer KT's draft. Even though their last pick was really weak. Yeah, I think I prefer... I think KT's draft has more options. Genji's draft is not very... I mean, it is kind of meta, but it's not really. Because they're playing Aphelios Tam, right? So Aphelios Tam needs to chill bot. Yo, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. Uh, and uh, you'll see me and my plant uh, with more videos. So, Jace into Sion. Jace needs cover. Aphelios Tam, they're chilling on the tower. Can KT dive bot? And can Peanut get uh, Doran ahead? Or like stay, make sure he stays ahead? I just think putting your... No, Kujo links to Prime. I, I think the weakest player on Gen.G against the players on KT is top. The biggest mismatch is top. So bot lane leash for KT, so I guess Gen.G does get a little bit of push here. They can stack waves, but KT is playing for top anyway. I'm surprised. This is the opposite pathings I expected from both them. I expected Peanut to be patting top and Cuz to be patting bot. I don't think Peanut can be doing bot, I don't think Cuz can be doing top because these are the lanes of Pryo, right? I expected. But because KT leash, they didn't get Pryo. Keen's holding the wave really nicely for setup if Cuz wants to come, but I don't know if they have much kill pressure. Jace doesn't have phase rush though, he needs Conqueror versus Scion, so. Could be a little bit of a cook. Wow, Doran doesn't even have a ward and he's trying to crash his top wave. Keen's not even doing top crab. Keen thinks, you can see Keen's pinging this. Keen thinks that Diego's top because it makes sense for Peanut to be top. And yeah, I mean, Kush is not wrong. He should be top. But he actually passed down. So now he's gonna get double crab maybe. Because Peanut's guaranteed lane of push was top, but he passed away from it. Maybe he did that to catch Kuz off guard. What is Kuz doing? Oh my god. Look at Kuz, man. His mid lane is under tower. His bot lane's under tower. He's gonna do it, it. There's no way this works. You should go for crab. 
goes back in. It's actually a very nice trade here for Cuz. Go for Crab, Cuz. No way. No way. Dude, this is the difference. Why are they playing Jace? They took Jace away from Keen, but like... <laughs> Jesus, man. Doran's getting clapped. He just needs to hit E. Oh, he missed. Okay, there's a double crap for Peanut. Yeah, I think Cuz fucked up a little bit in this early game. I mean, I can see why he didn't go for top crab, because he would probably lose his grump, but... Oh, Keen is spiking. Keen can never die now. Steel caps first base, GG. Uh, they tried to play on the level 6 time Rivisandra there. Nice try. Cuz just full clear base, full clear base. Okay, that's really bad for Gen G. Top lane is really exposed. Okay, Cuz wants to fight this Drake, but I don't think he's fighting this Drake. Oh, maybe they can fight this. BDD got a good chunk on Trovi. I don't know if BDD can ever enter this fight, though. Looks like they can stop it, though. Yeah, this is the thing. BDD can't enter. They have to zone BDD away here, Gen G, but also to keep Dragon Aggro. Lehens, if he goes in, he's gonna get, no he's gonna get insta killed. Oh, a delight mistake. Chovy, it's Chovy. Whoever Chovy goes on, fight starts. KT are still fishing for it. They have Ignite. On. But so does Gen G. Uh, whoever goes in first loses. Ah, Scion diff. It's a Scion diff. They can't go in. Oof, man, if Gen G lose this series with first big Jace, that's gonna hurt their confidence for the rest of the series. Mid is in a good spot for Gen G. Because Ch Chovy has so much kill pressure. But BDD has to play really safe. Lissandra's a really good answer into Ari. Oh my god, he's not dead, right? Oh my god, just open it. Just open it. It's a, it's a top... It's a top fucking canyon. This is never legal. No, 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 man, no. Doran. Doran, 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 Doran. Doran, Doran, Doran. Ooh, Kuz is here, though. But Kuz... Okay, BDD's first. Oh, Kuz needs the ultim. He didn't get it. Oh my god, KT, baby. That's them. Okay, sides are winning. BDD lost a lot for this, though. I think Kuz could have killed Peanut here. He just fucked up. Maybe he would ult on the tower, though, and trade one for one. Mm, yeah, he would ult on the tower and trade one for one. It's good that he didn't press R. Can they fight this, KT? Kuz wants to, but... Oh, the light stayed. They have to dive bot now. KT have to dive bot. He W'd over Dragon Pit. Oh my god, Lehens. Okay. They don't have the burst. They do have the burst. Oh my god. I thought he had Merc Treads. This is gonna be big. Chovy's gonna be really, really strong. He won off the BDD roam and now he's winning off the kill. Jesus, he got so much gold. Okay, well, Aphelios lost Flash. But Genji have opened the game a little bit through mid. Oh, Cuz. Ult him. Mm, scared, maybe. Pays will get a plate or two here. Oh, Keen's going for the strat, baby. Here it is. Ult top TP. Uh, ult, ult bot TP top. Aphelios, no flash. Tom, no flash. Cuz, don't cuz. Cuz, don't cuz. Cuz, stop it. Cuz. Okay, we're fine. No, they should commit to this, I think. I really think they should just call Vi down and go for this play. Yeah, I guess there is not much to do here. Aphelios based. Hmm, that sucks. He's gonna have to push out top and look to ult down the river then. Yeah, how did BDD die? Must be a flash hold from Trovi or something. Nope, it wasn't even that. It's just Chovy walk, uh, BDD walked up for no reason. Okay, KT get two drakes. Keen's ready to ult in case they start, they, they fight it. It's Cloud Drake, isn't it? It's Cloud Soul, isn't it? Ooh, Hextech is huge. KT's comp is very mid game heavy. And I think right now they're probably at their. No, not yet. They're almost at their strongest point. I just really wonder what this chase is going to do. He's going Gore Drinker as well, I think. This chase is going to be so useless. They need to get this spot tower. They really need to get this spot tower. Oh my god, Gore Drinker Jace actually like... What does he do this game, Jace? I really don't know. We'll see. Maybe he can get some free kills and fights and get back in the game, but... They're trying to punish this flash down on pace, but it's really hard to punish this. Tom Kench is doing so much. Tom Kench value is all in defensive, right? In most cases. Or in pro play at least. 
but I feel like Genji lack damage. Am I high? I, like right now they do. Bit later on they should have damage, but like I don't think anyone's getting through Sion. They have Lissandra Viego burst, and if they can get one target down and Viego gets a reset, then they can he can carry. But if they don't get a one one burst onto someone, I think Rakan Ari Vi just one shots one target faster. Even though they have Tom Kench, I don't think it matters. Oh, this could play. Nice ult by Peanut. Holy fuck, BD is quick. Damn, BD was super quick there. Really good reaction by KT. Insta punish. Yeah, I didn't like the Scion last pick because I thought KT's comp would lack damage if they don't get ahead. Like if their mid if their, if their mid game is even, and Ari gets shut down a little bit, and you're playing Scion, I think they would lack damage really heavily. But Scion is carrying and is doing a lot of damage. <laughs> I think he can live here, maybe. No, he can't. Maybe he can actually. Someone needs to flash on him. He's actually fine. <laughs> oh my god. Blue jungle item. Keep it up, KT. Keep it up. Let's get this next Drake as well. Wow, I really am just so KT biased. It's crazy. Poor Chovy. His whole team's griefing him. Okay, Genji actually got access to Bot River. But KT have a really good flank. Hmm. Genji needs to go in one direction. Your blessings are the tier one. Yeah, KT are getting vision. Can they get collapse on here? No, they can't. The thing is, their champs are too mobile. They'll see them on the blast cone here. Where is Cuz? Why is Cuz doing raptors? What the fuck? Oh my god. KT just went into river. Genji went into river to follow them out to push them out of their own jungle and they got mid tower for it. <laughs> that was actually a funny sequence. And now they're back into river. They flushed them out like this. Oh, they lost Rakano. That's pretty big. Sion's gonna get hard chunked as well. Well, I need to give Drake, I think. Give, 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 give. Mm, mistakes. Or? Charm Flash? Oh my god, that was big damage. Oh, Chovy fucked up. Maybe he didn't fuck up? Yeah, he did fuck up. He went in way too early. Doran? Oh my god, Doran's just running it. What is Doran doing? Oh my god, Keen. Oh, they have a reset. That's it, GG. Everyone has to run. Uh, Chovy went in alone 1v4. But he got CC'd when he went in. So that was obviously like the biggest problem. Nice to be top by BDD. Get top tier 1. But Chovy will match, so it doesn't really matter. So Lehens is making a mistake here. He should not have to use ult already. They need they need ult on Rakan and Sion. Like, these things are so important. So what does Chovy do here? He goes in... This was really good by BDD. Hits damage on both of them. He goes in, gets vi gets ex gets his ult off stopwatches, dies. Now Doran here jumps in onto a vi The hens is out. Oh, if, they had, if they had one more ult, I think that KT would wipe them. Peanut has a big, big, big threat in these fights. And Pays will get stronger and stronger, right? So KT needs to play for top tier 1 now. KT needs to control top side vision, have Keen push out bot and hover in river for ults. And they should be able to get this top tier one pretty easily once they flush out this vision. Need to be careful not to overextend though. Not get too greedy, they need to chip away at it. If they play too explosive they could actually lose Nash. Chobi also has good wave clear and he's pretty much undiveable, so maybe they don't get it for a little bit. These teams are not clean. KT is playing good. I think they're both playing fine actually. Also, first game on stage is always like kind of int from both teams. They can't dive top. Oh, it's so annoying for KT. It's really annoying for KT. Aiming skanking bot. <laughs> Actual good rotation. <laughs> that was sick play by aiming. His jungler is farming his camps topside and he's ganking bot. Great play by aiming. Yeah, I think Genji need to swap the whole plan up. Go back to blue side, ban Jace instead. And maybe just look to first pick Zaya. I think Jace ban is better than Jace pick, but they need to not ego the draft and just pick it and play it. Like, give it to Chovy or something, I don't know. Yeah, BDD has his Rabidons now. Three items on aiming. Should wipe them unless they get kited like fuck. Oh, BDD clean. He got Chovy's clan stopwatch. Ult. 
Chenji has more range. This is the issue. Oh my god, it's a mess from KT. They're not playing together at all. This sound's just tanking for no reason. But he's still alive. Oh my god, can he live through all of that? Oh my god, that charm was sick. Nice stopwatch. Vile still up. Oh, a yeah, huge turn by, Je uh, by KT. Huge turn. What a turn. They had so much patience, actually. I, I was kind of worried because of how split they were, but Keen just carried the fight by not dying. The second Keen dies, everyone dies, but he didn't die. What did Delight do in this fight? Everyone's saying Delight ran it down. Did he? Let's see. This was good slow play by Genji. Nice re-engage by KT. But now they have to back because their turn comes in waves. Like Ari charms for Khan Ws, they have to be patient. If they can't get a target. Mm, the eat by the light was okay. Where is the light going? What the fuck? Where did that guy go? <laughs> what? Level 16, Ari. Oof, he's getting strong. Keen's level 16. I think this game is done. KT gets this game in the bag. Wow. Well, oh my god, Doran. He's gonna live, but the light will die for it. Yeah, Doran is a weak link in Genji. They just take him off, Jace, please. When I saw the draft, I actually thought the Scion pick was maybe not the best angle. It gives, uh, uh, but uh, like when I see the like he's just died one v one to it. Like what the fuck? Ooh, BD. Okay, they got one back. Okay, so Genji goes back blue sides and just bends Jace, right? Like, there's no other way to play this game. Nah, you can't go red side. Because KT's target banning on red anyway. They're banning Cassante. I guess they did ban Annie Zeri. Genji would have too many bends, I think, on red. Just go blue, fuck it. Why ban Jace? You don't want to see Keen on Jace. You're asking to lose if you give Keen Jace. Yeah, this Tom Kench pick didn't do anything. The Jace didn't do anything. Chovy is sweating for his life with Pace, and Peanut's kind of half there. Oh man, aiming was so slow there to react. That was such slow reactions. Oh my god, they're throwing. It's not that big of a throw to be honest. It's just the biggest throw here was that Saya lost sums. But they should be back for Drake. KT maybe look for Na looks for Nash here. Looking at Lehen's position, maybe they're looking for a Nash. Can we do something? Okay, we're fighting. Okay, we're not fighting. We're not starting Nash either. It's not up yet. We don't. Okay, we can go up. Oh, it's actually kind of rough. There's not much they could do there. Oh, that's a huge knock. Oh my. Keen is just carrying. Keen is just carrying. Pace can maybe carry here. Oh, BDD. Oh, BDD. BDD and, Ke and Keen this fight. Absolute chef's kiss. That was an insane fight. Really good pace by KT. Holy BDD and Keen. Absolutely smurfed it. Okay, well, Genji will probably have a better plan next game. That plan was dog shit. Wait, they didn't ban Jace? There's no way they're running it back. There's no way they're first picking Jace again. Don't do it. Just pick Zaya. Wukong first pick. Don't pick Jace, KT. Don't pick Jace. It's kind of into they pick Jace. Yeah, Diego's good. Keen Jace is insta win. Yeah, but if they want to pick Jace, they can pick it on three. Because if you pick Jace here, for example, then they flex Malphite. It's kind of annoying. But I think they have to pick Zaya here, so it's not happening. They're putting more focus on mid jungle. Yeah, they have to ban Jace. Actually, Lissandra band. Does BDD play Lissandra? LeBlanc, Lissandra? Could be good bends. I don't know if Tom Kench is a good band. When they're playing Viego. Yeah, Lissandra, LeBlanc feels like good bends. They can just do Scion Nautilus. They should definitely pick Scion now. Don't pick Tom, please. They're playing TF Viego. They're front to back scaling. I mean, I just, I'm just a, I'm just a front to back ha hater with scaling. Why would, I, I don't think they can pick Jax, can they? They don't have any damage though. They need more damage. Yeah, Orn. 
Warren good. I mean, could go. What could you go here? Is Keen. Camille is also pretty good. Camille, Nar. Come on, Keen. Be a geek. <laughs> Keen 3 0, BD 5 0, aiming 3 0. Ow. Nice trade by Chovy. Holy shit. Normally, TF is really hard to trade into level 1, Atari. Seems Aphelios Tom gets pushed into Zyra Khan early. Didn't leash this time, but they get pushed. I actually thought, I thought Zyra Khan would get pushed early, but it makes sense with Tom Kench because of uh, his level 1. Oh, he has E. Aiming has E. What the fuck? So, Kuz full clear top to bot and then backtrack back to top. Why would you level W second? I've seen a lot of Zyas play with QW and not have E on level 3 until level 3. I saw it uh, on Thursday. Who was playing Thursday? Because they all in with W level 1. And they take Q to take creep that they might miss, and then you don't have E for all into level 3. This matchup, I think, is or in favor, isn't it? Isn't it? I feel like when I played this matchup, uh, both sides, Orin just felt like much easier to play. So much easier. So I'm surprised they picked Malphite, but I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not playing for lane anyway. They have a stacking wave bot here. TF should be 6 on this wave. Boom. But they can't do anything with TF. Oh, he doesn't have cleanse actually. What? He has no cleanse. Oh, wait. When did he cleanse? What did he cleanse? Did he cleanse Zaya E on the level 3 all in? That's a huge punish, actually. Instant, instant, instantly pulled the trigger. Damn, I didn't expect that to work. The bad thing is Genji can hold the wave. Oh, can he? No, he can't. Can he? He's trying to pull it back still. No, he can't do it. This is really awkward now. <laughs> Just let it crash. <laughs> There's not much Chovy can do. Only thing Chovy can do is just perma push mid. They're losing Drake, even though Doran's first on the move. Doran's first on the move. Genji have mid push. Wait, no, it's Genji on Drake. What am I doing? What am I saying? Am I high? Am I high? I'll stay like, what's wrong with my brain? I'm Pepega right now. I'm Pepega. What the fuck? Who is favored for Herald fight? Probably KT, right? If they play slow. But can they play slow? But I think they can play slow with flashes. I don't think Ari has the damage right now. What is the next play for Genji? I don't think there's anything to do. Just have to cover Herald and farm. Herald bot. Yeah, but that's KT's plan, right? The good news that Genji have is they have perma mid push. Like, seriously. This is unreal perma mid push. Like, 20, 30 CS leads. Perma roaming. Trophy 100 CS at 9 minutes. Yeah. Does he die here? Tell him flash. Oh, that was close. If anyone had ignite, he was dead. But KT have swapped lanes. They commit to swap. They need a herald quick then. Really good swap actually. Really good swap if they can get the herald done. Well, we're backing in our own brush. Doran still quite tanky as they look to turn this one around. Cousin Lahens maybe going No, they can't deep herald. As here comes Chovy up the what? River. Did Peanut just flash Q? Just Wait, who flashed? Flash out of this one well, the oh, it was Cuz. was a really clean lane swap. I don't know what's happening to me today. Maybe it's because I didn't sleep much. I don't know. Okay, nice little setup here. We do not have flash on Cuz. Uh, He's going to break the wall, but Amy oh, not the end of the world. Lucky. He will be left to the wolves. I got some plates. Nice Doesn't matter, I guess they're gonna base. Or are they? Maybe. No, Genji can't. Maybe they can play this? Yeah, looks like they can. Oh no. KT. Oh no, they're both dead. Maybe Rakan can live, but. Oh my god. Why is, why is Lehens. Okay, he just knew. <laughs> he just knew, I guess. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, Genji is. I think Genji is gonna gonna get this game. This one is gonna be really hard for KT. They're playing TF Zaya, man. This TF is 40 CS down with Merc Treads Catalyst. I hate this TF pick. I hate it. Actually, I wouldn't mind it if they didn't play Malphite, but I. <laughs> yeah, it was a hard one. It was max range. They don't have Orn or Ariel, but I think they can still win. BD needs to push his wave and Ghost up. Not instantly, but he can play with Ghost. 
such a risky fight to uh, maybe it's here. playable for KT here, actually. I think they should try, at least. They should try something. Yeah, there's the ghost. I'm just gonna walk on in, BDD with the ghost, into this fight. Little bit of tip damage, what is BDD doing? Ah, this TD. Oh, they got the Drake, though. But this TF is so useless. Oh my god, Keen's ult was terrible. Actually, got a reset for Cuz, though. Cuz? Oh, he cancelled his auto. Oh my god, let him cook. It's Cuz time, baby. Oh, he failed his ult again. Everyone's one HP! Can Chovy just quadra kill them? He needs to play slow. And they're all dead. Just have to hit something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice try on the turn by KT. But Cus kind of choked that fight a bit. He could have carried the whole fight. Yeah, like, look at TF here. Just watch TF. Why is he running into Dragon Pit? Where is he going? Walks into Dragon Pit, gets knocked up and dies. KT get Drake, and here they're trying to get out. Nice charm by Trovi. I was watching Keen here, because Keen looks for ults, but he only hits Doran. But it doesn't matter, because they have enough feathers to get... But Cus here, he needs to auto with Brittle. He cancels his Brittle auto. Maybe it'll make it a little bit better, because he would be a bit tankier for a bit longer and would kill him faster anyway. Then he fails his ult out. But even if he doesn't ult out... Even if he does ult out, can they win this fight? No. It's not over yet, but it's Genji favored a little bit. I think Genji's fighting is just more consistent. Like in terms of champions. Or KT need to really, really need to land CC on the right target and get a reset. Does KT even ever get back in this game? I don't think they can. Genji has better mid game, better scaling. God, their draft is so weird, KT. The thing is, normally what you would like to do with TF is you'd push this next wave, for example, as BD, you'd recall, you'd run bot, and you ult on the side lane for your top laner, but your top laner is playing Malphite, so you don't really have angle there. And then their bot lane is playing Aphelios Tam with cleanse on mid waves, holding. So how do you ever find a, a side lane play on TF? You have to play for team fights. But then you're playing for team fights against Or and Wukong. <laughs> Maybe they give this Drake, to be honest. If this was Genji versus Genji, it would be cross map zero kills every game. <laughs> but KT just say, let's fight Drake, I guess. I think this fight is on aiming. He's probably the strongest player on KT. I think they might need to use TF ult soon. This looks really tough. Their vision line looks horrible. After this mid wave, I think they might need to TF ult. Don't know if they can get top tower. I don't know how big the wave is. I thought this Wukong would have way more items. I'm surprised he doesn't even have. I mean, he will have Black Cleaver on base, I presume, but. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen for three minutes, I can tell you that for a fact. Tanks catch waves. Mages catch waves. Bot laners catch waves. Everyone jacks off. Whose draft do you prefer? I prefer Gen G's, but... I don't know, KT can still win this game, I think. But I don't know, Lich Bane TF with Roll of Ages, does this guy do damage? Does anyone know? I think the answer is no, right? Does this TF do damage? I mean, I think the best usage here of TF, which might sound quite small, but it's actually quite big as well, is uh, his ult will find Wukong. Like, if he ults in a fight and Wukong Ws, like, it just makes life easier for Zaya. Just needs to spam chain CC this Wukong. Why does Aphidos have a shutdown? I don't get that. He's up 20 CS, 0 2 shutdown, and down in items. But Ari, who is up 30 40 CS, and the level doesn't have a shutdown. Huh? Aphelios has more dragons? Ah, yeah, Aphelios has more dragons than Ari. Oh, yeah. Plates? Did they get any plates? What the fuck? That knock was crazy by the light. Do they force Nash? No, they don't. It's Genji. They don't force anything. They go through Drake. Oh, so KT are trying to threaten Baron or something. I think KT are trying to threaten Baron. No, I don't think they thought they were going... There's no way they thought they were on Nash, right? Wasn't the Fidos on midway? What just happened? Can we have TF ult? Okay, there it is. This dragon's dead, though. Oh, cuz. He's dead, no? Oh, I missed. Doran missed. Oh, the charm hit. Cuz is dead. Ah, GG. GG. GG, that's Nash as well. Yeah, this game's a stomp. 
warning signs I just I just hate TF Malphite. Why would, Malphite. Why would you ever play TF Malphite? Oh my god, that's really unlucky for Lehens. How are you supposed to see that? Oh, nice charm by Chobi. Keen dead. And they get Nash. And they get bot tier 1. Well played by Genji. I mean, Cus makes the mistake to try and steal. And Chobi hits everything. Nice flash E by Doran. Oh, no Peanut murders him. He wins against this guy as well. This guy's 9 0. Flash? No. I think they should have played something different here on 5 KT. I mean, they'll choose blue side now, so they won't have to think about this problem until game 4. But they should have. Um, I think they should have picked some kind of trap like side laner. Or you don't pick TF, you can pick LeBlanc and do something like this. Oh my god, Pei's gonna have so many shurikens. Maybe Keen should play Jace. Yeah, Jace in this draft is a bit hard though. Jace Viego is not that great. Jace needs someone who can play for Jace. Mm, Kennen, Kennen TF is terrible. Maybe they should have picked Lissandra on 4, uh, but Genji banned Lissandra. Lissandra Vagar bans, so it was LeBlanc basically your only option. Other than TF. Is Ari OP at the moment? Um, uh, OP? Maybe not OP, but she's really strong, yeah. I don't know, KT just needs to change up, it'll be fine. They go blue side now, their drafts will be a lot different. Maybe they still play Zyra Khan, but everything else can get changed. Ah, right, it's gone. They can't fight this. Alright, so, so they've, I think they've realized this game is fucked. <laughs> There's nothing to cross map. I mean, the casters are memeing, but I think they're kind of right, you know, like... It's actually quite common in the LCK. So, this is something I've noticed from LCK and LPL. LPL, let's say they're in this kid situation, where they're down against the team, which they can pick up soul point. In the LPL, uh, 9 times out of 10, the LPL team will just fight the soul. And they'll try to outplay, or they'll do something psychotic in a fight to try and win the game. Whereas LCK will avoid the fight, give them soul, and play for Elder. And both of them can work, you know. If you give up soul, you basically sacrifice 5 minutes of the game, and the next Baron, and probably 2 or 3 nips. So you're putting yourself in like a really small chance to win the game. But there is still a chance. If you fight if you fight the soul, you could get aced and lose, and they could probably end off it. But if you take the dragon away, you have more time to stall. You know? But most LPL teams fight the soul. Most LCK teams from what I've seen try to fight the elder. Just a different pace of game. But now KT have to play four minutes. He also has Merc Treads I mean, yeah. in their base, the and I just think that this play is just, it's done, like, you really can't do anything. Oh! Not bad. Can they win this? No, they can't. Can they? No, they can't. That Tom Kench isn't dying. Okay, well, I thought KT would solve for the Elder, but they just decided to lose the game in a mid-fight instead. It was a nice try though. But there's just no follow-up. Malphite TF can't play side lane, can't follow up. What is the point? I hate it, 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 I hate it. I hate it. No more TF. Maybe, maybe, maybe game 4 TF, you know. I'm fine to run it back, but just change the picks around it. KT's blue side now. They ma they Maokai ban. Why the fuck are they Maokai banning on blue side? Zeri ban? Mm -hmm. They should ban Kasante here, KT, I think. You're crazy if you don't ban Kasante. Isn't Gen G the only team that can flex? Well, not the only team. But they flex Kasante and Doran one tricks it. They have to first pick Kasante. If they don't first pick Kasante, I'm done. I'm mad. Surely Gen G flex Kasante, right? Surely. Isn't that what's been working for them the last few weeks? Like, I don't understand why they've been giving Kasante. They should pick Wukong here, drop support till 4, keep Kasante flex. No way they're playing Astral Karma. Nope. Oh my god. Man. Very Dresh, but I don't know if Dresh is good. I mean, they are playing with Elise though. They should ban um, Renekton, I think, Genji. Why do they ban LeBlanc if they're keeping Kasante flex till last? And they're not killing the Kasante flex, right? I think Renekton for KT is just a pick. Hmm, tell you, yeah, I'm gonna tell you it's good here. Show the Yone? No. Hey, Karma and should get pushed in this lane 1000%. But I just, I just, dude, I just think that whoever wins this series is just gonna get the fist by T1. 
Hey, aren't they? I'm surprised Cassante gets the push into Talia early, but I guess Talia doesn't have that much damage level 1, right? Pop looks fine, Doran's in a base. I'm surprised Bot is this even. Pace has just used the second pot. The light has both potions, like looks like Bot is really fine. If you have Black Cleaver on two people instead of one, does it have double the... No. What happens is it just stacks faster. It doesn't overlap. Whose draft do you favor? I mean, I already said I favor KT's draft a little bit. But it's on... Like, I, I don't think Genji have the the range to get onto Esriel Karma. I think they should never have the range to get on Esriel Karma, ever. Thresh, Elise, Nar. I think Esriel Karma outranges them so hard. Can he E flash W? Auto Q? Close. This dragon area is really risky for Kuz. He doesn't have info on Elise and he's getting crab with no bot push. Crazy motherfucker, but Cassante is leaning top so they should know that Elise is in topside jungle. Why is Lehen's top? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> what? what is he doing? Why is he even here? His jungler's on bot crab. Like he's a cheat. What? Keen's going in? Oh my god, no one's gonna die. Oh, KT just used so much to try to get something there. I don't think KT should ever let Chenji get Kasante. It makes no sense. Kaz has been a bit AFK this game. I don't even know if he can get the strike. Wow, no way did KT... What did KT just do? What? What just happened? They lost Esho cleanse, TP'd in, died, lost Karma Flash. Well, aiming and uh, Lehen need to carry the game. I think they can, you know. Oh, this Cassante just became really broken. Oh, it's fake lanterning. Yeah, that's a fake lantern, actually. I feel like fake lantern never works anymore. I think he should have died there, BDD, with what Chovy did. Maybe Peanut messed up a bit there, but something should have happened there. Peanut spent 750 gold on stopwatch. Yeah, he did. Breaks up. KT will probably start it on this spot wave. Chovy's fighting this. Where is BDD? I think they need to stop this. Chovy, Chovy should die here for this. If they tell you ult on him, get bot quick. So he's playing really... I guess he has Lantern, but... Oh, nice chunk by BDD. Oh, Keen. Nice Keen. Keepies on top of Peanut's head. Oh, he didn't get a jump. Oh, they'll get Drake. Yeah, good spot for, Ke for KT. They can get bot tower now. It's huge. Need to make sure they don't lose Herald, though. Nice ult. Oh, really nice ult. That's actually a huge house ult. Oh, BDD predicted it, or what? Chovying? That champ is balanced, I swear. Cassante is fair, guys. I promise. And Peanut could insta-flash away, but... I think he's dead no matter what. Why is Keen mid? Maybe it's because BDD has TP? Uh, I don't know if JNG wants this fight. I think KT should fight them. They're split as fuck. They had to escort the top wave. Chovy CS, bad chest. KT have good engage here. JNG needs to be careful. He needs to be really careful. Oh no, he jumped as well. <laughs> He's fucking Doran. Maybe Cus could have queued him there first, saved his ult for a little bit. Throwing it just gets his flash, maybe they could have cooked. But it's still fine. Oh, my monitor turned off! My monitor turned off! They really want this top tier one here, KT. They're counter TPing bot to try to threaten bot tier one on a cross map. Actually smart here, but KT should match because of Drake spawn. Can they match TP bot here with Keen? Yeah, they can match. Okay, nice. So they can stop the tier one cross ramp and they can still fight Drake. That was really well played by KT. Quite a simple sequence though. Mid tower will die. Get this wave in. BDD can TP down if he needs it. Oh, Chovy position. Oh, 
And they are going to get that flash out of the KT jungler now. That gets them out of river at least, but they lost flashes for it. Ezreal's going from mid wave. It's good. I think Ezreal ult can be really powerful here if he ults just down the river. The Ryan's procking. BDD wall is good. BDD's got it. He's going to take a big chunk. On the backside, he does have Severum, so he's able to get oh, Keen in trouble. Oh, he lived. Chobing. Oh, nice hook. It's all on aiming. Yes, like they have nothing for aiming. They can't do anything to him. This Eshul is untouchable. He's untouchable. They can't do shit to this Eshul. They should both die here. Soul points for KT. It's KT, baby. It's KT. Yeah, Genji's draft is really bad at dealing with Ezreal. Can they make a pick here? Looks like it. He might have to ult to the wall here, Chovy. Oh, nice positioning by Pina. Uh, Kuz is not letting him. Oh, Kuz didn't let him. Oh, what? That guy is so tanky. Oh, no, aiming. Gets hit by a hook without cleanse. Oh my god, KT's throwing. No, no, no. Out, out, out. They get Nash. Run. Oh, no. They're going to lose Nash. They just threw the whole game. Oh, my God. They just threw the whole game. Oh, my God. Estril, 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 Estril. You can't get hit by hooks. If you, like, the only way Estril can die is a hook. Oh, no. We got excited. This is why you don't get excited. There's no way Genji are getting away with this draft and winning. There's no way. Well, now they have a big problem. Because uh, Chovy's unkillable. And Pace is getting stronger than aiming on next base. When he gets uh, IE. Oh my god, they're losing so much. And the soul is also terrible for KT. Like, it's, they're playing Ezreal, Talia, Karma with Cloud Soul. It's completely useless. I mean, the out of movement speed, combat movement speed is nice, you know. It's like QOL, but it's not... Game changing. Did he, Doran just really just TP that? Like, he was. Little bro was in the entrance red. He was five meters away. Why are they trying to force on that wave? They have a minute left of Nash. Oh my god, Chovy is so tanky. Oh, Klaus is fucked. No, he's not. Just keep poking, I think. It's the only way for KD to win. And they can't poke. Chovy and Chovy's too tanky. Doran lost Mega, though. That's big. This flank from KT is really important. If they didn't do this, it's fucked. He needs to be careful not to die, though. This is messy, messy. They're gonna play to finish. Oh my god, he smited a 2k. They should still be really strong. Their comp, like, their whole comp is so good against Elise Thresh. Like, I can't describe how good Estrial Karma Talia is against Elise Thresh. They cannot get hooked ever, and if they ever walk up Elise Thresh, they just die. Just the problem is, Cassante is unkillable. And Aphelios is getting really strong. Pace should have IE on the next base soon. What is that shield? Can someone describe that to me? KT Nash damage is like, it's decent, but uh, it's impossible for them to do it right now. KT are really struggling with uh, this Talia at the moment. Level 15, enemy 80 carries, level 16. Talia is quite weak. I mean, Genji will one shot Baron if they can get the chance. I think Genji really wants to start it, but they don't want to lose Soul. But the Soul is useless. Kaz really likes to do this on midway. If you just QW someone, it's really risky. Which, like, really low profit as well. Oh, well, bye bye. Oh my god, Aphelios. Oh, KT actually threw this whole game. No way. Well, they don't lose. They got really big damage on pace. With the observer missed it, but he has BT, so he's probably just gonna live steal the full. Can they go Nash here, KT? No, they can't. Ugh. <sighs> it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, here's the Nash. Where's the Filios at? Can he get lantern with a hook to avoid? Yes, he can. They lantern hooked him over the wall, so they don't know he's on it. <laughs> now they know. But they're too late. Too late, too late, too late. Oh, nice knock on the... Like, like his overshield healed. Shield just got taken off from that. 
Do they play this fight? I think Gen.G can just leave if they want. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the Astral is kind of running out of steam here. Aphelios is just going to outpace like hell. Like, this champ is two levels up with four or five items inbound. In no way you go Dustblade this game. I mean, yeah, you could go Eclipse, Dustblade. I don't know if there's anything else that can do much, but yeah, big play by Peanut. Just wins the game. Well, doesn't win the game, they threw it already earlier. But Renekton and Sejuani is falling off. Estriel is like behind against enemy AD. God, I hate this Bloodthirster overheal meta. It's so disgusting. Yeah, move to bot tier 2. Like it a lot. Oh, wow. That was really well played by Doran. That was on the tip of the tip of the tip of every spell. They got Paze's cleanse, but Kaz will have to flash. Yeah. Can they do anything here, KT? I don't think they can. They tried to set up for a There's not much they can do. I think... Oh, did I try to predict? What? He just got one shot by Pace. Ah, oh, KT will be really mad about this game. I don't think their draft was a problem either. I just think they threw the game. They just made mistakes that they shouldn't make. And they gave the game over to Genji. So I wouldn't be surprised if they go blue side and run back the same draft. They just threw it. But you also have to wonder why are they giving Cassante to Gen.G? Why? Why is KT giving it over? If you watch the Gen.G series versus uh, who was it Gen.G played against where they just played Cassante every game and like flexed it and like then they got permabend against him. Didn't didn't T1 also permabend Cassante versus Gen.G? Or take it away? Humble life? Yeah. Didn't T1 just permabend it against them? Like you need to... It's obvious even if they don't... Even if Chovy doesn't play it, they just play it top and it's Doran's favorite champ. This is a must ban. Must, 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 must ban. Even over a jungle ban, who cares? You have to understand that if they were to leave, let's say they were to leave Vi open, right? And you take Sedge. If they play Vi, they will play an Ari game. If they play Elise, they will play a Thresh game, right? There's flexibility no matter what. But if they play Cassante, it's comfort. They have answers to these drafts, but they don't have answers to the Cassante ban, I think. Because they lack flexes on red side then. And if they flex Jace, then I think, the, the <laughs> I think it's asking for a free win for KT. Damn, is KT going to be able to pull this back? I don't know. Their early to mid game is decent. Their late game is trash. Like when Baron spawns, this team just sucks. They either overextend or they don't have side lane plays. I think what will happen here is either Genji will 3-1. Genji will 3-1 and then T1 will 3-0 them. Or KT will reverse sweep. Well, not reverse sweep. They'll win 3-2. And I think the T1 KT series will be a bit closer. Because I think Genji have a really bad match into T1. I think KT is just a, it's just a weaker version of T1, kind of. Like high flexibility, strong early game. And really reliable mid game. I think T1 just has more strengths than KT. They just have better late game, IMO, and they have better comeback potential T1. But like they share similarities, like Keen and Zeus, quite similar, I think. Faker and BDD have not the similar playstyle, but like um, their champ pool overlaps a little bit. Faker is a bit more flexible. And their bot lane, KT's bot lane, is just a worse version of Karia and uh, Guma. But overall, as a team, they play well. Gen.G is just really passive. Like, you can see KT's match into Gen.G is good because they can get ahead, but they don't know how to close out. But T1's match into Gen.G is just... They're just a better version of KT, so they just get ahead and they win, and Gen.G just sits there AFK. But, 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 but... The KT T1 series was close because when one team gets ahead, they need to hold it. Alright, KT, please ban Cassante. Stop fucking trolling. Ari ban. A lot of people, random thing, just small off topic. A lot of people, when they build rosters, they get the best carries possible. They get, like, the best two carries in the game. Like, player-wise. But, to be honest, if you gave me my budget, most of my budget would go to jungle support. And then mid, and then AD. Because I think slotting in carries with bad jungle support is much worse than having average carries with really good jungle support. Top lane doesn't matter. Uh, it does, I mean, it does matter, but... Yeah, I mean, Han Hanwha Life's a good example. Yeah, Hanwha Life's a good example. I think uh, Mad Lions is another good example, when they had, like, Unforgiven and shit, and they were still finishing first, first in the regular season. Like, Unforgiven was decent, don't get me wrong, but he wasn't, like, the, the beast, you know? But they had Elioia Kaiser, so... Alright, first pick Varus. Or Zaya. Or Wukong. Wukong, not bad, no? Or Vi? No, I don't like Vi. Wukong, Wukong. Wukong, then they go Zaya, Vi... Oh my god, it's so bad if they first pick Vi, I think. I've seen this too many times now in the LPL. I just feel like Zaya Wukong Rakan wins versus versus Vi Varus. Unless they play Varus Tam, but I really don't think they should. Does Gen.G play Zaya Rakan? 
I, I just think Vi into Zyra Khan is unplayable. Oh my god, why? Why don't they first pick Wukong? Oh, they're doing Zyra Khan, so they can't lose Rakan, they do Wukong on 3. Now you play Varus what? Varus Karma, Varus Nort, Varus Renata. But I just think you've lost already. Varus Heimer, Varus Ash. Like, I just think it's all... I just think they have to pick Varus Nort. Yeah, they pick Wukong here, and it's hard already. Elise, I wouldn't mind Elise, but I actually think Wukong's better. If you're picking on 4-5 here, I think Elise can work. If they flex Jace here, I'm gonna flip my table. If they flex... Thank God for that. Just keep it simple. They should ban Vagar, I think. They should ban... Uh, LeBlanc. Maybe a Lissandra ban comes out from either side. I think LeBlanc... If LeBlanc gets banned, what's open? Talia. I think Talia here is not bad for Genji. Actually, no, I don't like it. Talia here is good. Vagar Talia is not bad. LeBlanc here is not bad. But then he'll blind Lissandra. And I don't know if he can play Silas. Oh, this is a really weird mid situation. I think they have to ban Talia. And then I think they have to ban Lissandra. And I think they have to go Cassio blind. Isn't that sequence just the best for Genji? They ban Kennen. Oh, they want to pick Nar on 4. Okay, they have to change it to Nar ban. They want to counter mid. They didn't want to solve the mid scenario. Just ban Nar. Silas ban. Ah, uh, yeah, they want to give Nar and pick Mouth. They blind Oh, they do blind Lissandra. Mmm. Mm. So they work. So you could see how they were trying to fix the mid lane situation. But because of the Silas ban to stop the Mouth fight, that opened up a Lissandra blind. Because Silas is good into Lissandra. But now I think you have to play Syndra or Cassio. You don't pick that. You don't pick Cassidy with Vi, Nautilus. You don't do that. Okay, please blind a strong top if you're going to do that. Please blind a strong top. Okay, go Gregas. Go Gregas. If their TF gets ahead, you can win. If they don't, you, win. you lose. Just pick Gregas. Or S no, don't pick Sion. Don't pick Jace either. Please don't pick Jace. Just pick Gregas. Take the win. Thank God. Oh man, KT is doing... KT is playing really risky. This point in the draft, it's KT, it's Genji favorite, right? This point in the draft, it's very Genji favorite. I think the 4-5 here for KT that's safe is like a Cassio Scion, right? And that makes it so like you have a fighting chance in team fights and scaling. Or you can just do TF Jax and just fuck the whole game up. Draft doesn't really matter anymore for bot or jungle. It's just if TF Jax can scale and, and like make plays on sides and they have openings, then draft doesn't matter. Because you can have the best 5v5 comp in the game, but if Jax TF is playing good, you will never 5v5. It's really hard to say who wins now. They took a risk, but it's a very high risk, high reward, right? Vi is playing PTA. Yeah, I've seen Vi play PTA into Wukong before. Thinking you win shorter trades. But I think when you play PTA, uh, you win shorter trades, yeah. Long trades is really hard. So the way the game will work now is bot push is really important. But obviously, if you can test... Zyra Khan level 1 with Lethal Temple versus Comet Varus. You, this is the pro. This is a counter pick bot matchup. Genji's draft is just really safe and strong. It's really meta. It's really good team fight. Has good lanes. Like, there's no real flaws in Genji's draft. Like, it's just classic Genji. To draft against Genji, you have to be a bit risky. But also, you have to know their their one tricks. The, the first big Vi, I'm just, I just, I just don't know, man. It's okay. Genji just has uh, KT just has to play mid game well. Now, why is he hooking here? Hooking Zaya level 1 in this matchup I think is fine, but hooking Rakan... Because what happens if you hook Zaya is Rakan then has to W your AD carry, right? If I hook support, support Ws me. And then it's just a trade of whose AD carry is stronger. But if I hook Zaya, then Rakan Ws my AD, then it's even, I think. Because support can live, and AD is too far away to die. And the reason he has to W AD is because otherwise he's getting hit, right? They should still win the lane. They are playing Varus with Comet, like you can't lose that lane. Game will be a bit slow until like level 8, level 9, when TF gets 4 or 5 points in Q, then he can start to push back in against Lissandra. Doran has Biscuits though, he could get Biscuits for E. There's one. There's Q, he needs to Biscuit again to get E mana. There's a sec- oh, he leveled up. Nah, he lives. They need to get Jax ahead. I mean, Keen needs to solo carry this game. <laughs> <laughs> How is Varus going to live against Lissandra, Wukong, Rakan? I can tell you he's not. <laughs> it's a fucking sitting duck. 
This is why I think first picking Zaya was better. Because then they play Wukong Varus and you play Zaya Vi, right? At least you have something to fight back with. Is Varus going poke? Yeah, he's going poke. He kind of has to. If you play on hit Varus against Lissandra Wukong Rakan, yeah, I don't think you're doing anything. But at least maybe Poke Varus can play on a different screen for a bit. I think BD can live here. His items are very good. See his items? Ruby Crystal, uh, Negatron. But this should be the threat. This is how the Varus Nolto lane works. The Zaya is afraid to walk up. And if she walks up and gets hooked, she dies. But if the, and Rakan has to block it. But if you hook Rakan... And of course you're gonna lose. But as long as you hold your hook, there's the looming threat of it, and so she can never walk up, right? Does that make sense? They're not really scared of TF because they saw him really low HP on their tower. It's like whatever. I think Kuz can get level six off his bot crab. It's six forty. He should get level six off bot crab. I think they have a three man top angle. They have ignite on TF. He needs to get the wave in. This should be telegraphed though. You can see the light might cover this. He should know this play is coming. It's fine game for K fine game for KT. It's fine. The, 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 the problem they'll have now is Herald. I think honestly aiming should have ran the Herald from base. I think they need this Herald. I don't know, can they get it? Why isn't Genji contesting topside? They have Lissandra level 8 ignite ult with a Wukong. Why is Peanut going bot and Chovy's going top? Like, Peanut should be with Chovy. I think they're blundering here a bit here, Genji. They're way too split. Ah, they're gonna... Ah, Keen thinks he's safe. Ah, oh, Keen's gonna die. Maybe, no, B B maybe BDD can respond to in time, actually, if he's quick. No, he can't. That was actually really smart by Chovy. That was really cheeky. So initially I thought that Genji was blundering, but Chovy sneaks in when his jungle supports bot. So it looks like Chovy's bot side with them. So Keen thinks he's safe and he's in a 1v1 because his jungler's hovering. That was a smart play by Chovy. It's not the end of the world though, it doesn't really change much. It just stops Keen from getting a plate, I guess. The gold on Lissandra doesn't really matter. The problem is the TF doesn't have damage, right? He's just set up. And I, there's no setup bot, that's a cleanse Zaya with fucking ult. Gragas has flash up. 2v2 is like TF Vi loses 2v2 against the Sandra Wukong unless they can 1v2 one of them for like 5 to 10 seconds and get them low. TF doesn't have much options right now. Why isn't BD roaming? Uh, the thing is, he can't roam anywhere. Where, where can he roam? Pops unkillable, bots unkillable. And they lose Drake fights because they're playing the Sandra Wukong. This is why it's such a risky draft. You need to play like. You need to pray that there's openings, but there's not. In the way that there's openings, if the game is like volatile, but Genji is the least volatile team in the in the league. Like they all just sit back. KT can't do anything. <laughs> they want to do something, but they can't do anything. When will teams stop first picking by? When? 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 Uh, Genji is just not volatile. Their bot will give up waves if they have to. Their top will play safe on a tower. Cho will only find plays which are like 80% good. They're like the most disciplined team in the world, probably Genji. In terms of like not taking risks. There we go. This is the isolated 2v2 that they need. But he's stunned at clone. They got him though. Big. That's what they need. That's the only opening they have is isolated 2v2s. Uh, and then finding Wukong first. And then that relieves lanes so that they can contest. But ideally the Varus Nolt could be winning this lane but they're not. He didn't stun the clone. I swear he stunned the clone. I'm pretty sure he stunned the clone. No, he didn't. Did he? I don't know. It looked like it because the, the 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 clone had like a thing above it that was CC'd, but like I guess that's the Vi knock. It is the Vi knock. Yeah, he did hit. Okay. Uh, Chovy, you're not on the wrong top. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They got a kill. It's just hard to see with the displacement in Korean. It's hard to say what that CC is. Because the ult over also overlapped on the stun if it did. Yeah, I don't know. This is just a game where KT will just bleed out. They're playing playmaking against t champs that stop playmaking. <laughs> like Lissandra and Gragas just stop all playmaking. It looks like Gen G will be going to MSI. Unless KT can find something. The problem is they get outscaled, they have a worse 5v5, their side laner is behind, and they're down two drakes. So like, game state is obviously shit, even though they're only down 500 gold. Yeah, needs to get Jax ahead. Yeah, but how? How? It's easy to say, like, just get Jax ahead, forehead, but like, they're playing Gregas, Lissandra. You can't dive them. If Chovy saves TP well and hovers top, like, <laughs> how? <laughs> 
Oh, you dive in. Unless Gragas takes Psycho traits, which he didn't. I think KT fucked their drafts really hard. I think game two drafts was horrible. Uh, game three draft, sorry, was horrible. And this game four draft is horrible. Their blue side drafting is trash. Against Gen G. Maybe against other teams it's fine, but like I feel like they didn't do their research against Gen G. Like, just two big blunders on the first pick. Giving over Xante and then first picking Vi when Zaya's up, like... Uh, it's really bronze mistakes, I think. Not to be a dick, but it's really like... You know, fuck up draft. Don't fuck up with the most obvious things. Just have a Nivea. Pick a Nivea, B1, and just stand in base blocking the creeps. Two heralds mid got the tower. Nice, nice, nice. This is what they need. Doran made a mistake. Oh. oh, they're really going for this. They know they need something, but this is super... Oh, can they get this? And get out? Chobi? He plans to get flash up. Okay, Doran made a mistake. There's an opening. But they need to, like... They need to go on this guy as well, no joke. Cuz? He has ult still, little bro. They need to force, 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 force. Have to dive. But he has ult. How do you dive? And Doran has TP in 10. Oh my god, they're gonna throw the game if they dive this guy. They're all gonna die. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please, please, please don't dive him. Please don't dive him. Don't dive him. Maybe get TP? Oh god. <laughs> It's in a 1v3 as well, like, they didn't even need Doran. Oh my god. But here they need to play for... Tower? No, they can't. They, have, they can't play for anything. They really can't. Maybe if BDD didn't TB bot, they can make it happen if they change CC to stop the ult, but even that. They have to dive top again. <laughs> but they're covering it. They're covering it. Well, the good news for KT is if Dragon dies in 3 minutes, it's 22 minutes in. That's a 27 minute, 26, 8 minute Elder. Uh, see what if you watch the last five minutes of map sequence all it is is it's like a it's like a tide coming in tide coming out kind of thing Jax pushes top four man hovers top Genji cover Jax gives top push TF pushes bot three man covers bot TF bases like you see Genji this three man just runs up and down to cover sides until dragons spawn and then they're forcing 5v5s so that's all they have to do so they're like as much as KT don't have options props to Genji for covering them you know what I think KT should do? I think in 1 minute 40 they should force Nash. And they're warding for it, so I think they will. If they can get a Nash, I think they're back in the game. Because they're playing side lanes. They, they have... If they can get a Nash with TF Jax with these towers up, they will get so much gold. So Genji's only way to lose now is if they can sneak burn. It's poke virus, yeah, no shit, but they don't really have a choice. <laughs> they have to play... Almost like Genji has to make mistakes if they want to lose this fight. Oh, bye bye. Here we go. This engage is questionable. The light goes in, but maybe it's a bait all along. Oh, not bad so far, actually. Oh, Keem dead, though. No, they can't team fight. They're playing Jax TF. Their champs are useless. Their champs are just useless. They are all so useless. No one can do anything. Zaya still has ult. Like, it's pathetic. Oh, Cuz? Oh, Cuz is cooking! He got two of them! Hell yeah, Cuz! What is this timeline where Cuz is the only one with kills on the team? <laughs> That's when you know KT's champs can't do anything. <laughs> this is why I think they should have picked something like Cassio... Cassio Sion. Because here... Well, I mean, obviously you can't take this fight as an example of them being able to fight back, but like... Cassio Sion would negate a lot of the things that the enemy team wants to do. The TF is just so risky. Especially against a team like Genji. Against T1 and Hanwa, at least they're fast paced, so there is chaos and there's actually chances, but against Genji, there's never a chance. I think Genji is probably the best team at dealing with globals if they have red side. If they're playing like Jay's top with against globals, they're gonna run it down. Age layer slow as fuck, what do you mean? No, but they're not very good at covering. They're sloppy as fuck. There's openings, you know. You think I'm molding? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, though. <laughs> I don't care who wins. I just think for the viewers, it's more fun if... Uh, wait. They can get Nash, maybe. I think they have to go Nash. <laughs> That's the only opening they'll ever have this entire game. I know exactly what's about to happen. KT's gonna do Nash and get fully aced and lose this Nash. But I don't think they have a choice. You know what? Just fucking do it. Oh, here it comes. They should just wait. They don't have any Nash damage. Their Nash is so slow. 
Oh, the, what? They don't want to risk it? Really? Why not? Oh yeah, because Elder's in four minutes. Yeah, and they have double smite. Yeah, Genji have double smite. It's, it's nice of them that they saw that they have double smite. I mean, Chobi should hold on to that smite until Elder. Was that not their only chance? Well, the reason I think I don't think it's their only chance is because they're probably talking about Elder. If they can, if KT can somehow defend Nash for the next three minutes and fight Elder, maybe they have a chance. But I don't think they can defend Nash. Genji can push out top wave, next mid wave, and probably start it. No flash on Varus. Good night, sweet prince. Oh, good night, sweet prince. Now maybe, maybe a bit deep here by Genji. Maybe a bit deep by Genji. They only got Lehens, but they should just be able to do Nash. Maybe Keen can get bots here too. They have no TPs on Genji. I think she should just push here. Push, push, push. They don't have TF ult. If they had TF ult, maybe Vi could look for steal, but... Ah, they'll get bot tier 2. BDD could just push out. Why are they TPing bot? They're gonna go for tier 3? I don't think they can get tier 3. No way. No way can they get tier 3 in time. Uh, a bit wasted, but it doesn't matter. He has spellbook anyway. Well, no cleanse on uh, aiming now. I honestly think it's a dive angle for Genji. Oh, they TF ulted? They're trying to get top tier 1, so Genji will play on two lanes, min and bot. But their waves are quite far away, so maybe BDD can get this. Maybe Chobi TPs. Okay, well that's the defense right there. Now P KT have to kill Chovy. To be honest, they have to try and kill Chovy, but there's a blue orb. So, yeah, they're gonna back away. He's gonna play safe. Chovy's just gonna base after this wave, probably, right? Is he gonna base, Chovy? No, he's just gonna run mid and play safe. Doesn't wanna push out. Well, now they'll get this top tier one, but look at the wave states now. Much better for Genji. They should give mid inhib and bot tier two, yeah? Maybe they can fight afterwards. Keen is still going. <laughs> I think Keen's just like, fuck this, we're not fighting. Give bot in him as well. I push. <laughs> Doran will slow chase now. I actually think Genji can just 4v4 dive bot now, if they want. They have Rakan Lissandra level 17. Yeah. They play... Genji plays to the script, man. Once the script is written, they follow the script. Uh, Katie's draft is so shit, honestly. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. Not very exciting. I kind of wanted Katie at MSI. But uh, yeah, Katie did not deserve to go to MSI in that series. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. That was disgusting.